Hey guys and welcome back to Post for Nem, Liam Strider's horrific vision of what the future of Minecraft could be. I mean, just look at all this obsidian. Uh, just to remind everyone what's going on here, there was a resource war back in the back in the dark ages or whatever it was and I got sent off to orbit to be like stored because I am the ultimate genius scientist of the past you know kind of uh, and they sent me down back in a rocket and then I kind of landed with that that equipment over in that corner peg over there Let, let's go and have a look at it this over here is chemical decomposition and synthesis so we take something I don't know like a potato and we break it down into its uh, constituent parts and then we use this machine to put things back together in various manners and we go woo are the king of the world unfortunately our kingship last time didn't go too well uh we went downstairs i say downstairs we went down to the bottom layers i suppose it is technically downstairs through a hole that is over that way i can't quite see it over there the, where this red light comes up i this this was one of my death points and that was down there um but going down there taught us a lot about the world uh in particular that all the things from the nether can be found underneath down at the lowest layers so that that monster spawner over there might not be the best thing that we need but yeah we're still going to make use of it in the quest book now because we went down deep we've got actually a few things done like we've got some uranium and we've got some netherrack i just need i need to go down there and get some more glowstone but that is going to be tough Something else that we've done, we managed to pick up a bit of dark steel. It was just a singular bit. Is it still in my inventory? It's not still in my inventory. That is a, a, a small shame. Uh, a singular bit of dark steel we found down in the chest down below. I believe that's where I found it from. I don't remember making any. Uh, but let's put us halfway through this test, so, uh, this test, this quest, sorry. So I think we should be able to make this dark pickaxe. Now, we only need to make two more bits of dark steel. So let's go down and figure out how this works. Thankfully, I've got it already lined up here. Uh, if I can find the dark steel. It is made in the alloy smelter. The machine that we took forever trying to figure out how to make. We need a, uh, a bit of iron, a bit of pulverized coal. Pulverized coal? Oh, no. I don't have a grindstone. I don't have a grinder module. Uh, I don't have coal grains. I don't have a crusher. Uh, I don't have a pulverizer. I might have to make a pulverizer or a sagmit. Oh, look, we can make some pulverized coal out of carbon. Something like that. Brilliant. All right, so I want two of those. This is cold powder rather than pulverized coal, but that's okay. I th well, I'm hoping it's okay. We will find out, of course. Uh, and the last thing I want is two bits of steel, which I should have. No, I don't. Well, we're going to pick that up anyway. Uh, I can't believe I don't have iron in here. How massively unfortunate. Okay, we can, we can make iron. And that is how we make iron. Now, hopefully, it should be relatively simple to make this stuff. So we'll come over to the alloy, alloy smelter. I believe it's that one that one and then these two in here and we should be able to watch all this roll i apologize about the state of my inventory at this point of the game uh i really was kind of expecting to tidy up a little bit more before i started but you know that's just the way this works these take forever to do forever and ever so let's see what else what other quests we can do as i was saying we need to go down and get that glowstone uh perhaps when we start doing that sort of thing we can do this double layer capacitor if you remember three episodes ago or whatever when we last looked at that the double layer capacitor let's come through here uh compare this one takes this energetic alloy and this was the problem that we had this is why we had to go build the monster spawner and stuff because we were after uh this glowstone dust it's a lot of work it is a lot of work but i i think maybe if we go downstairs and start digging out the area we should be able to do some stuff All right is this done at least one of them. It's not done at least one. We've got to get two. Okay, I'm going to just do a small jump cut. Okay, with those two smelted and the one we picked up from downstairs, we should be able to come over here and make ourselves a pickaxe in the typical manner, hopefully. Okay, that's a typical manner. Oh, we also got normal Minecraft achievements. Woo! Okay, that was crazy. That wasn't quite what we were doing. And we did this. All right, sweet. Now, do I want the dark steel, which it turns out we can make relatively simple? Or do we want these vibrant crystals? That I have no idea what they do or what they're going to be to make or stuff. I'm going to get these vibrant crystals. All right, okay. The question, of course, is where do we store them until we know what we're doing with them? It's going to be in there. Now, I am going to take this pickaxe. We are going to go over to... Um, well, we're going to go take care of some some rather heavy business now. We have gathered here in the graveyard to mark the passing of two of Twitchy's clones who gave their lives in pursuit of knowledge and deep, deep delving. We're going to take a moment of silence here as we put down some flowers and remember all the sacrifices that were made. We're also going to actually go into here. No, go into our waypoints and get rid of these because now we have marked the death 
we don't need to actually have the deaths being marked. Okay, well, there we go. That that was another great one. Four lives lost. It's um, starting to get a bit heavy around here, isn't it, guys? Oh, well, guys. So, we are about to undertake a mission of madness. Something like that, anyway. So, last time we came up here, we were carrying some redstone ore that was burning all this... Well, it wasn't redstone ore, was it? It was firestone ore. That burnt out all the wood that was lining this mine shaft here. Now, I want to get back down there. Because, obviously, we need to get some uh, some glowstone and stuff like that. So, I, I come bearing many many ladder. It's uh, 70, 76 or so. 79 of them, in fact. Uh, so, that should get us all the way down. We're at Y71. I'm going to just kind of dig down this bit here. Now, this is going to take absolutely forever. And not just because there's the obsidian at the top here, though. That is probably going to take the longest. So, I think what we're going to do is uh, throw on a little time lapse until we get down to some slightly more interesting layers. <laughs> Unbelievably painful. Oh, he's still here. Oh look, guys, he he's still here. We we still can't kill him, but he's still here. Um, safe. Ah, one thing we're gonna do here. Figure out what's. Go oh, I can't do it without breaking this. Okay, well we're gonna break a spawner. But bum. It should have given us a. Ah, oh, not a broken spawner. Oh well, obviously that. Whoa, get out of my face! No, 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 no. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going to grab a, uh, a, a load of gravel. Uh, cobble, sorry, not gravel. Uh, we're going to go totally seal that guy. So those two guys must be, like... I thought they were just glitched. I thought they were just glitched. But they seem to be where the zombie baby spawns in. So maybe I just need to, I don't know, uh, pack them off, wall them up. Just make it a little bit safer. Oh, look at look at this. This is terrible. This is terrible. Well, at least we get to just kind of drop down a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm going to have the life to survive the bottom bit. We'll try and drop some gravel at the bottom. Not gravel. Uh, what, what's this thing I've got in my hand? Cobble. We'll try and drop some cobble at the bottom to try and dis... Well, not dissuade. Uh, not get as much dropping... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so suddenly things have become clear. Um, okay, well, what do we do about that? We just break it, right? Just break? No! Okay, all right. Well, actually, this is pretty good because this is where I want it to be. I am so glad that that was a teleport, not a, not a death. That that would have been game over, man. That would have been game over. Uh, there's a lot of sand down here now. We can we can take advantage of that. So, how much of my stuff did I just lose? Like that was an explosion on an explosion. We did get two diamonds though. Ooh yeah. Uh, I don't want this like. Well, I do want this limestone. Let's get this up here. Well, this is kind of where I wanted to be, right? This is kind of where I want it to be, because I am down here, get out of my face, looking for glowstone. Now I'm expect- oh wow, that's, that's got dark, that's got super dark, let's uh... Of course it would, because, you know, we just took the glowstone out. Oh, I'm not sure what to do around here. This is going to be super scary. Right, yeah, this is the place I want it to be. I will, I don't know, figure out what we're going to do about all this. But we've got some glowstone, and I'm going to just dig around and get some stuff and see what's down at these lower levels. Oh, oh, we knew there would be some problems down here at some point. Ah, I hate them. I hate them. Now there's going to be more around this way. Look, you can see them on my map. Die! Die! Little little poison maker ones there. There's going to be another one somewhere. Ah, I, and I thought just the netherrack was going to be the problem. All right, he's disappeared. Has he disappeared or is he just up there? I don't know. I can hear him. There's a problem. Okay, right. Anyway, I've done a little bit of a branch mine here. You can see we've gone that way. And when I say a little branch mine, we've done two branches of a branch mine here. Uh, so I think... And all we found is, like, glowstone and uranium. Nice. Don't get me wrong. Nice. But uh, it wasn't quite the haul I was hoping for. This, this amount of uranium might be, actually, though. Uh, so I'm going to pick this up, and then we're going to try and make our way back out of here to finish our quest. I don't know what time it is out on the outside world. Uh, I hope it's daytime still. 
Um, I hope, because, well, it's going to be all sorts of horrific death if not, right? That's, that's how my world works. Uh, we are coming down this side today. I need to dig all this out with a shovel. I have a shovel. Okay, yeah. So once again, um, I will be back when I've kind of made myself a safe way out. Other brands of supermarket are available. Okay, so I've kind of made it to a safe point. And by safe point, I obviously mean the point where the zombies come up and down. Okay, let's break this box before any more come out, right? Breaky, breaky, break. Okay, we've broken the box. Hopefully there are no more little, little zombies to come and get us. So I think what is going on here, uh, after I put some torches in, is the box was spawning these guys down too low. Uh, which is hilarious, don't get me wrong. Oh, there's another box right there. What is going on with this place? Crazy. Crazy. Okay, I am going to just kind of box everything off if I can. Come on, let me put some blocks down here. Uh, yeah, and then just climb my way up. This should hopefully take me all night. Uh, if, if things go well, it will take me all night. We are in the middle of the night, so things should be okay, I hope. All right, let's, uh, let's make this actually boxy now. Um, like to the point of, yeah, like this. We're just going to fill all this in. Can I hit them? Can I hit them? Should we set them free? Can we try and set them free? I'm wondering where we can uh, click on them. Some sort of bug just stung me. That's all right. That's fine. Okay, we should be an awful lot safer here now. I hope. I think. The only thing that's going to let us down is this zombie under here. I kind of want to fill that in. Dig this out. Okay, here goes. No, still not problems. Still not problems. Still can't hit them. Okay, well, I don't know if this is, like, an official bug report or something, but uh, there we go. Funway's fault. What was that achievement? All right, well, we just got an achievement for something. I'm not sure what. Uh, let's bring this down here like this. And let's get out of here. Oh, no, it's nighttime up there. I don't think now is the time to do this. When day daytime comes along, I'm going home. Ah, creeper! Alright, I'm trying to think that I can't actually wait around any longer. My body temperature is going through the roof. So we're going to go up and just run. Uh, we're going to try and keep hold of all our stamina and stuff on the way. But that should do us... Hopefully, hopefully this should do us fine. Uh, it's a long way up to the top. In fact, looking at the number of uh, ladders I got, it's about 70 blocks to the top. But we knew this anyway, didn't we? We, we counted it on the way back. Uh, running up, I believe it's just out and over, and there's my house. Yes, okay, I'm going to run full pout, and I will see you guys. Oh, I've got heat stroke, so we can't make it as fast. But I will see you guys at home. Well, that was a lot of effort, and it's still the middle of night. Let me uh, get some sleep, and I can have a look inside the book and we know exactly what is going on then all right let's have die uh let's have a look inside here i have one unclaimed reward i'm also on my last life on my last life it's something to to worry about so this one here going deeper netherrack uranium uranium glowstone when we could get a comp basic capacitor bank a oh oh wow Altatic. Odd, 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 dick, <laughs> capacitor. I don't know what that says. Uh, an AB9 clip or half a heart. Ah, uh, see now, I, I, this capacitor bank, I guarantee that's the one I'm supposed to go for. But I could really do without half a heart. In fact, am I going to get the rewards if I. Hang about. We've got, we've got to get rid of some stuff. Okay, there we go. With my inventory emptied, I'm probably going to go for the. I, I just really feel like that's the one, but I'm going to go for the half heart. I know this is going to come back to bite me, but we're just going to have to deal with it. it is. Uh, okay, with that in mind, where am I going to put all this uh, netherrack that I've got here? Let's pop this in here. At least three bits are going to have to go in my fire. But um, is this still draining my uh, my sanity? This is the question. No, okay, so standing outside looking at my sanity marker, which incidentally, once again, is this purple marker here. You can see that the numbers are going up whilst I'm stood underneath some sunlight. We actually managed to get some real glowstone. Oh, that we got given this real glowstone, didn't we? Okay, I'm going to put that in here as well. But I want to use this glowstone stuff, this redstone. Look at how much uranium we've got now. That's uh, 17, 25 uranium. Ah, also, while we're here, last time we had the plutonium. I was just super frantic about what we're going to be able to do with it. It turns out that if we just take it and pop it roughly there, we can make ourselves some uh, blaze powder. Infinite blaze powder. What? Well, we got two bits of blaze powder there for some reason, and one. Wow, this game. This game.
So we've done a lot of stuff so far already, but there is more I would like to do, uh, mainly involving this netherrack. Okay, so for starters, if I grab this flint and steel, uh, the very unfortunate flint and steel we used to try and find out whether we could go to the nether or not, I am going to bring up some netherrack to here, and I think it's time we just had some standard fire here at all times. Now, I am hugely interested to know whether this is going to set anything on fire. I think these are all far enough away, and everything else is brick. So that should be all good. I'm going to run away and just kind of leave that going. Uh, I'm going to do something else with these 18. Let's go, let's go and put back the 64. Like we, don't, we don't really need those. I'm going to come over to this chemical decompositioner. That, that's, that's actually how it said, decomposition. Oh, oh, wow, this is more than I thought I was going to get. Osmium, pluto uh, osmium platinum. More osmium. More platinum. Silver, osmium, platinum. We've got some ver vanadium. I don't know where vanadium goes. Uh, I was going to be all like, hey, look, guys, I know where osmium goes. It goes right here. But vanadium, I don't know. Give me a second. Okay, that was a quick second. I figured out exactly where it goes. Uh, vanadium actually belongs up next to titanium. So two new elements on the uh, on the table here. That's awesome. Uh, I'm just going to go through and put these back. Okay, Einsteinium. We know what we're doing with this. We put this in the middle here. We've actually got four, so I don't know if we're going to have enough calcium carbonate to do what we want to do. In fact, we only have enough for two. So let me come over here and grab all that. Oh, oh, oh. Well, guess guess we're going to have to break down some more limestone. Going to have to break down some more limestone. Always nice to get a stack of calcium carbonate back. Right, now, uh, the thing I do... Oh, no more einsteinium. There we go. The thing I do not know what to do with is the uranium. It takes hours to decay, but it's got a big time on it, right? Uh, not a big time. Uh, it has got a time, so I want to do something with it. We can make some eulorium. That's pretty good. Um, that's not as good as I was hoping, actually. Uh, and we can store it in places. Okay, maybe if we can get these 48 together or 16. What do I have? I have 8. 8's not going to be good. In fact, 8 is probably going to just, like, disappear away. Maybe, maybe we can make some from that. Okay, another thing that we are doing, and hopefully this has done everything that we want it to do. 6 is good enough to get going with. We have got a quest that we have been working on for a long, long time. This double layer capacitor that we only need to build one of. So let's get in here and go um, double layer capacitor. Now we can make some pulverized coal. We can make some industrial capacitors and we can make some energetic alloys. So let's have a look at in here. We've got these industrial capacitors. I've got some coal powder, which was confusing because I didn't think I had. But there we go. We have. Uh, and now we need all these energetic alloys. And combining them together inside this crafting bench should hopefully give us the thing we have been after forever. Ever and ever and ever. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get another double... La oh, do we want to do this to finish a heart? No, I'm going to get a double layer capacitor. Growing those numbers of capacitors and stuff like that. That is amazing. And before we wrap up, I would like to show you something. It has been a little bit of time since we have done our last meat man. So we can we can do our meat clone again. Now, I'm not sure if we've actually got enough protein. We do not. So over the course of uh, however long it takes for me to do my next episode, I'm going to be going out there and harvesting all that algae out there. In fact, let's, let's sleep so we can do it. Um, and then I will turn that all into protein, and hopefully we will have that when, before I get back, and we'll start next episode with that. But until then... I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time. We're going to do all those things that I just talked about. And until then... <laughs>